I'm Deepak Patania and welcome to another episode of The Art of Science. And uh, today I'm not going to show you a DIY, but I'm going to show you something that we are making. And uh, it's a uh, sort of a cycle which I'm cycling right now. And but it's interesting that in this cycle, I don't even need my hands. So one hand is holding the camera right now and the other hand and no I'm not doing any stunts and I'm not uh, taking any kind of risk that's the beauty about this cycle that you don't need to hold hand you need to don't <laughs> that you don't need to hold the steering uh, or the handle and yet uh, it moves around and in fact uh, it's an off-roading bike with huge tires anyway I'll go to the shaded place in front and park and then I'll show you okay now this is what we were cycling on so this is a new tandem bike that we are building this first one because this was the first prototype uh, it's become too heavy though it works fine but it's slightly bit uh, too heavy uh, we've used motorcycle tires, a 100cc motorcycle rear tire and with its brake entire system eventually if we make it again which I want to uh, we'll be making it much lighter hopefully in aluminium and also use die cast wheels alloy wheels so they are lighter and uh, here this is it the front and the front is also a motorcycle tire the front tire which is slimmer so this is the front uh, person's uh, axle and uh, pedal and that's the back one and I'll show you how this interesting thing works these are the front guy front uh, no, pet, no, the chain goes to uh, one of the sprocket of a geared pedal and the other sprocket the third one the second one we've missed uh, we left it and the third one goes to the back here and this sprocket is attached to the rod which also rotates when this sprocket rotates and uh, that rotates this uh, wheel here which is a bigger wheel and that goes to the chain that goes to the back wheel of the uh, bike now the only problem that is now the only problem that is happening is that this this wheel diameter is smaller than that one so we are getting a reverse gear ratio so which which means that we have to pedal a lot more to reach uh, uh, this thing to reach a, a small distance uh, though here the gear ratios are fine here this is a big one that goes into the almost same size but this is slightly smaller so we improve the gear ratio this this uh, sprocket with, with this chain the sprocket here is bigger sprocket here is smaller so we improve the gear ratio but there we are missing out so we need to now find a smaller one but uh, right now I've run out of money so I'll wait for some time and the rest uh, you can see and there is a additional wheel uh, additional seat for the for the third person as well because since it can take any amount of weight it's built for a bike which is already some 100 kgs plus two, two people on it 200 kgs so an R frame is not that uh, heavy interestingly this this bike even though it's long and everything and it's pretty heavy we have made it uh, a foldable bike so the first this still here this frame is one frame and the front triangle and the front part is a se separate frame only thing is that one has to remove the cable this cable when you disengage it or disassemble it uh, for disassembling we have this 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 rod and this rod these two rods have to be removed and the middle rod then comes out and how they removed is there uh, there is there is this thing that we made and it's bolted on the inside so anyway right now I'm just showing you uh, what we are the, this is work in progress once we uh, start the final thing I was thinking in fact I'll make a DIY of it and uh, make every all the steps so that you can also make it those of you who have the workshop and would want to make it you can make something like this uh, this is uh, work in progress and hopefully this piece also will make it enough to make it work and oh yeah I forgot one thing 
though there is a uh, an additional sprocket that that is there yeah and this this is to put a, uh, a separate motor suppose we want to put a motor we can put a motor here here anywhere and we can put a motor and use this sprocket to power it so it can be an electric bike as well electric assist so now we are going to ride it bye So that's all I have today and uh, maybe soon I'll have more news on this as well. Thank you for watching and do subscribe uh, to the channel. Thank you. Till next time. See you next Wednesday.